Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Reminiscent. and today I'm going to do the first video in a series where I teach you guys how to DJ in Ableton. This is how I DJ now. I do, I still use Serato once in a while, but I prefer to go Ableton with my controller just because it's a lighter setup, easy to do, and the timing on it is just absolutely bang on. So first thing we're going to do is actually set up Ableton, okay? Okay, so this is a brand new live session right here. The first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of these two MIDI tracks. Just go click on them and delete. I'm left with audio one and audio two. Let's leave those for a second. Let's go into the preferences first. I'm going in here and just going to show you um, audio section that comes up. I mean, the only thing you need to worry about here is basically your in and out sample rate. I've left it at 44 one. Um, I've talked about this before in other videos. That's my choice. You can totally leave it to the default, I think, which is probably going to be 44 eight, I think. Oh, sorry, um, uh, 48. Uh, thousand. I I can't remember, but I leave it at forty for one, just because I you know I don't do anything past that. Even if even if MP threes are forty eight bit whatever, and I import down to forty for one, you're never gonna hear the difference. So that, again, that's a personal choice. You can leave it the way you want it. These are your audio settings which you'll need to change for your sound card. And then look and feel. Right now I'm running a different skin. The skin default skin is this guy right here. I've changed mine to disco and the cool thing is there's so many creators that create different skins for you so you can look on the internet and they'll show you how to import it and stuff too. File folder, I've left it as is. This is a, you know, this is a pretty good laptop, brand new. Uh my Asus Windows laptop. I don't need to play around with the cache or anything right now. It's running rock solid. So I've left the default. Um left the library settings the same. Uh, record warp punch the only thing I changed here was see where it says auto warp long samples by default it's on so what that does is when you import a track it's gonna auto warp it I like warping it myself so I, I've turned it off um, nothing else I've really changed in here so let's go into the setup for your DJing so audio one click on the top there where it says uh, one audio C control R command R if you're on a Mac change that to deck one or whatever you want to call it audio 2, deck 2, and the reverb and the delay I've left and they've actually got reverbs and delays already on them. So deck 1 is obviously deck 1. Now you go down here, in case you don't see the uh, crossfader section, just go on to the bottom right here, see where the X is, click on the X, and that brings up these things here, A and B. That's your crossfaders you use if you use them. I do once in a while, so I'm going to put obviously deck 1 on A, which is the left, deck two on B which is the right and then here you have the crossfade on the right side here and I'll show you how to use that in a second so let's get a track in here again I've already showed you how to warp a song I'll actually do another video next time on how to how I cut up the songs and prepare my audio library and you know how I organize things I'll do that in a separate video again this is just to get you started in like five ten minutes to actually start DJing Okay, so let's go into deck one here. Let's find a song. Okay, so let's find a song here that we can use. Um, we'll use one of my productions. So let's take this one, A Slam, Don't Waste Time. And let's just find some loop here that we can use. I'm sure we'll, you know, get in trouble for this one. It's just a loop, hopefully. Um, okay, so one thing I want you to notice that well, you won't notice, but I know that they're in key. So when I play them, it's going to sound good. Again, I will talk about mixing in key. In a later session, this is a basic session first. So this is the song right here. I'm just going to pull the crossfade to the left. So this is, I'm just going to turn this down a bit. So this is our song right here. So now the way I set up my um, quantization is quarter notes. If I left it on one bar, it means I'd have to hit play uh, one bar prior to where I want the song to mix. You understand what I'm saying? You'll understand what I'm saying in a second here. So this is... Don't waste time. I've already cut it up. I've already warped it. So this is what it sounds like. Oh, uh, beats are 112. Let me just change that to the tempo to 112. 112 right there. Okay, so here we go. So this is a slam. Don't waste time. It's just playing. Okay. Right. And the other loop I'm going to get ready. So let's just say you're in the mix. You're playing that song, right? And, you know, you're not feeling the vibe. And you want to speed it up. It's pretty simple. Just go up here with your mouth. Hold down your mouse and just scroll up. Speed up. Or you could totally slow it down. So let's just leave it on 112. 
The other thing you notice on this is I've got it set to right here, complex. Right? I've already gone through this in the, in the like I said, the link to the previous videos below. Uh, watch that video and you'll understand what those um, mean. But I leave everything in complex. Um, actually, I should show you that before I forget. In the in the settings right here, default warp mode is usually set to beats. I make mine to complex. So every time I import a new song, it's set to complex. Okay, so let's just say you want to mix a song. Let me just move this fader back to the middle, okay? Just to get an idea. So let's just say you want to mix a song. And you got to remember, you're in quarter, you're in quarter uh, quantization. So you, you know, basically hit the next song you want to mix in a quarter of a note beforehand and you'll understand once you get to play with this and figure it out a rhythm it's really hard to explain i just know because of music and the way i dj and you'll understand what i mean so let's just play this right i'm gonna actually skip it a bit and get ready to play the next one okay so again i don't have any crossfade just gonna blend right in okay let me turn this down a bit I'm gonna play this next song. It's just a loop, but you'll learn something new. Here we go. Okay. Now it's just a matter of how you can lower the fader, right? Or I'm gonna use a crossfade right here on the right. You can just use your crossfade, right? Or you know, you wanna go back. And that's basically it in terms of setting up your decks. You can have as many decks as you want. Again, I've just set this up for two just to get an idea. Now I'll show you how to use the effects. So let's just play this. Let's say you want to add some reverb. Well, it's just a matter of going to your send, which is A. A right here. A is matching the reverb. Go in here and just turn it up. Can you hear it? Let's just say you want to delay on one of the words. Just go. Hear that? There you have your delay. So there you guys have it. I've set up Ableton, what, 10, not even less than 10 minutes so you can start DJing parties. Absolutely love DJing with the software. Um, I prefer not to use Serato anymore just because I prefer the engine in this. I can, there's so much creativity stuff and I'll show you as we go along. But I wanted to show you this. This is basically the first step. The first step is, you know, warping your songs, right? getting this software ready and then we'll get into more complex stuff in the next few videos but i uh, hope you like the video if you have please you know click on those thumbs share the video subscribe to the channel that way stay up to date with the latest and greatest information i'm dj reminisce and i'll see you guys real soon